Hi, and welcome to another Keyshot quick tip. In some cases, you might want to use two maps to drive the displacement of one material at the same time. To do so, you have to combine the maps using a color composite node. In this example, I have the following two maps that I want to combine. One is a bitmap texture creating this geometrical pattern, and the other is a procedural spot texture that creates all these random holes. I want to combine the maps so that the geometrical pattern will have these holes and look kind of damaged or corroded. Here's the material graph for this flat plane. The two maps I want to use for the displacement is loaded in and set up. I select the nodes and hit C on the keyboard to preview the size, position and so forth for the textures. Hit C again to exit the preview. Right click an empty space in the material graph, go to utilities and select color composite. Add the geometrical bitmap texture to the source input and the procedural spots texture to the background input. Select the color composite node and hit C on the keyboard to preview the output. For this example, I'll change the blending mode to multiply to blend the maps. When working with displacement maps, remember that white values of the texture will be displaced with the displacement height value in the displacement node, while black values will stay untouched. If we hit C on the keyboard again to exit the color preview, add in a displacement node by right clicking, select geometry and displace, connecting the color composite output to the displace input and connect the displace output to the geometry input on the material root node. Adjust the displacement height in the displacement node properties to 0.05 and hit the execute geometry nodes button. We'll see that the maps are now combined and the holes, because they are fully black, will go all the way to the bottom of the geometrical surface pattern. To make the holes less deep, double click the color composite node, hit C on the keyboard and decrease the background alpha value. You'll see how the procedural spots texture color information becomes brighter. Hit C to exit the color preview and hit the update geometry nodes button to update the changes. Now the holes are less deep. Keep adjusting until you're satisfied with the result of the combined textures. Here's a bonus tip. If you experience rough edges like you see here, you can go to the displacement node properties and decrease the resolution. This will in most cases help you to get a smoother result. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. For more Keyshot learning content, click on one of the playlists below. To make sure you don't miss out on any new content, subscribe to our channel by clicking the Keyshot icon in the center of the screen.